Hi, everybody. So I am asking you to do something today that I haven't really gone over with you in this format. We have gone over scale factor. Remember that scale factor is a ratio created by the proportion of the side lengths of the image over the pre-image. And in today's exercise, as always, the image will always be represented by the prime marks. So you are asked to find the scale factor or the dilation ratio. And so the image will be the numbers with the prime and the pre-image without the prime. And in order to find these, these are the coordinates of the points of this triangle that is in the coordinate plane. So the only thing you need to do is pick a couple of numbers and put them over, put the image number over the pre-image. It doesn't matter which coordinate you use as long as they coord as long as they are coordinating. So if I use, I'm picking this negative two and negative three just because they're whole numbers. And I won't have to do anything special to find that scale factor. So the image would be negative three and the pre-image would be negative two. So those are both in the Y position for point A. And I chose the image first that goes on top and then the pre-image negative two. And because they are both negative, that does reduce to positive three or simplify to three halves. And then we can also write it as a decimal, which you do need to do for the go formative, which is writing it as 1.5. Now, if you don't know the decimal by creating the fraction, then you can just put 3 into your calculator and divide by 2 because fractions mean divide. So let me go ahead and go over one more with you. So number 2 you would need to pick one of these other numbers, not the zero, zero, because we don't have a scale factor of zero. So notice that in this one, the Y values of point F and F prime go from one to four. So which one is the image? It's the one with the prime. So it would be four over one. So your scale factor is four. Good morning, Jackson. I'm recording for my kids. All right, you can close the door. So in this one, did you hear Jackson? <laughs> Find the coordinates of the vertices of the pre-image shown on the graph. Step, step two is to multiply each number by the scale factor written as dilation of in each problem. So here it is. The dilation of two is the same as a scale factor. See, let me circle that for you. So scale factor two and list the new coordinates of the image. So I'm going to put these in alphabetical order. So J, K, L, the coordinates of J are negative one, negative two. Remember, we go the left and right direction on the X axis and then down or up on the y-axis, the vertical direction. K is negative one up to, and L is one, positive one, and then negative one. One, negative one. Those are the coordinates of those vertices. And now we're going to apply the scale factor. So multiplying all of the points all of the coordinates of j by this number two. So I'll get negative two, negative four. k prime is negative two, positive four. And l prime is one times two, and negative one times two, negative two. All right. So let me go over that again. Using the scale factor of two, I found the, all of the coordinates of the points on this figure on the coordinate plane. And then using the scale factor of two, we multiply negative one, 
by 2, we get negative 2. We multiply negative 2 by 2, we get negative 4. Then the points of k, the coordinates of k, negative 1 multiplied by 2, I get negative 2. 2 multiplied by 2, I get 4. 1, I multiply by 2, I get 2. Negative 1 multiplied by 2, I get negative 2. And then when you when I am able to give you a worksheet like this, you'll actually plot those points. So negative two, negative four, one, two, three, four, and negative two, four, one, two, three, four, and then two, negative two. Now this is when the center of dilation is the origin. So then you would sketch that in and label your points, K prime, J prime, L prime. So that's what we're going to be working on next week a little bit. I think that is enough to help you do number six and uh, seven and eight, I think, is all I asked you to do. Anyway, whatever is on the go formative. And happy scale factoring today and happy Thanksgiving to you tomorrow.